Hello and welcome back to Spinspire Screencast. Uh, it's been a while since I have had another screencast, so uh, hopefully I will find my stride quickly. Uh, so today we are going to talk about Swite or White versus Snowpack. These are some newfangled uh, bundlers or development tools. Uh, so you could call them unbundlers. Uh, for very fast development. The way they operate is they don't do the full bundling. They just do the bare minimum needed to convert your ES6 or your um, Svelte code or for that matter your React and Vue code into plain JavaScript. So that's what they're doing, but they're not doing the bundling part of it, which is they're not doing optimizations. They're not combining those JS files into individual uh, bundles and uh, so today we are going to look at Svelte development at high, high speed using Sweet or Wheat and um, Snowpack. So now let me introduce these projects first. Um, Snowpack.dev is where Snowpack lives and Sweet and Wheat are basically cousins. I mean Sweet basically is built on Sweet is github.com slash Dominic G slash Sweet uh, it's spelled as S-V-I-T-E. It builds on top of, as you can see, as well plus wheat is sweet, and it builds on top of wheat. Wheat.js is github.com slash wheat.js slash wheat. So these are the pages, and this is where we will start learning how to do this. So let's start with Snowpack. Now, Snowpack has a already has a um, bunch of... Um, official app templates and one of which is Svelte. So that's what we will use. So let's talk about, um, let's let's try to build one. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, Snowpack, right? So let me cd to dev and uh, Svelte and I will run um, oh, I will simply steal the command from here. We will say yarn um, You can say use yeah, so npx creates snowpack app and then the directory name and then template Okay, and you can say use yarn or, or with or without so let's do that so I'm going to create npx creates snowpack app I will call my directory snow2 because I already have snow1 and the template is going to be this Svelte template. So let's do that, Svelte template. And then I can say use yarn. This should create me uh, the Snowpack app. Uh, they also run the yarn install, etc. So they and they even do git in, in it in the directory. They even do a initial commit. So they get you started with a real project. So as soon as this finishes, we should have the project. OK, so that's it. Uh, wasn't too bad. Let's open this directory uh, we will say open folder and it's going to be snow2 right open it so at this point we should have a basic uh, basic application let's run it and we will find out how how it looks so there you go it opened a browser in my other screen on my other monitor so i Unfortunately, you couldn't see it, but but it did open this on its own and let's uh, Let's pro place it to the right hand side Okay I'm trying to place it Let me see if I can place it here There you go finally and I'm gonna make this guy a little bit smaller or I could just place this one on the other half. Yep, okay. 
Now, since I do need more space for code and less space for browser, I'm going to resize this. Okay, all right. So as you can see, uh, it's running on port 8080. It says edit app.svelte and save to reload. Page has been open for 62 seconds, learn Svelte. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's go to src app.svelte and we will make some small change to this page. Let's say we delete the edit this line, save. And as soon as we saved it, you could see recompile. But not only that, you could see, as you can see, this got um, reloaded. But I don't know if you noticed the fact that the counter is still, it retained its value. So this is hot module reloading where the, the JavaScript doesn't completely. And now I saved it. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to undo my changes. And I save it, and now here the new changes, the the changes are back. Okay, so this is uh, this is what we mean by hot module reloading. What is happening is uh, the if you look at the view page source, um, it uses the type equal to module um, where it is script type equal to module, which where it is using uh, loading the JavaScript as modules um, using ESM modules. So that helps with the speed of development. Okay, so that's uh, so this is Snowpack. Good, you took a look at it. The one, uh, what we should do is we should try to run the build command. So here, if I run the build command, it's create, it has, it was very fast, of course. It created, um, let's see, it created a build directory and in the build directory, it has index.html and index.html has um, it's loading stuff from the dist directory, which is this guy. And there it is, app.js, index.js. So now here's the, here's the issue with this approach. The problem is if I inspect, I do not, and go to sources, I can, let me see. Um, if I com control P and look for app.svelte, there isn't, there is no app.svelte. That's because no source uh, maps were created. Now, Snowpack has a snowpack.config.js right there. And you can try to tell it to pro provide uh, source maps but i was not able to see here source maps and i say true but the thing is um for for svelte there is no support for snowpack at least at this point there isn't okay so this is the reason so when i even if i do rerun the the build and uh, or rerun the start let's restart restart task and that restarted if I inspect and look for sources and oh wait looks like uh, I was wrong I was wrong so there is a uh, there seems to be support for okay if only I can just make this a little bit bigger okay there it is um, so there is some evidence at least okay if i create mm, put a breakpoint let's see on mount yeah see i'm not able to i am not able to put a breakpoint in there i want to put a breakpoint see that this is the issue that i'm facing that Breakpoints are not working. So source maps, I'm not so, if I say app.js, it's there, but so this is the issue that I'm facing. Uh, the app.svelte source maps are not connected to app.js. So this is the issue with Snowpack. All right, so let's, uh, so this is something I wanted to show you, but otherwise Snowpack is very nice. Another thing about Snowpack is you can do proxies. So if you had 
a local services that or any external services that did not uh, provide course um, which is cross origin resource sharing if it didn't provide that then um, you could still do proxy to the those services and they will be um, not cross origin anymore because the server that is serving your your javascript is also serving these is um, a proxy and uh, therefore it is proxying to these external services so there is no issue of cross origin resource sharing okay so that is something nice about snowpack now let's switch gears um, and take a look at um, suite okay all right let's let's see if i can so i'm going to basically stop this server and uh, go one level up and i'm just going to uh, run let's uh, look at the documentation okay so the documentation says um sweet you say npx suite create my first and then and so on and so forth and you can even say uh, use yarn or something like that so you can say pro package manager is yarn okay so that's what we'll do so um I'll say suite, npx suite create, and then I'll say suite two, and then pm is yarn. Package manager is yarn. Oh, I want to use, let me kill this, because I want to use TypeScript. So that's the other thing. You can do TypeScript by simply saying uh, minus ts. So that's what I will also want to do, minus ts. Okay. Let me make sure there is no error minus error suite two. Okay, all right. This takes a few seconds. Now, by the way, I will also show you how to add suite to an existing project, which I think is pretty neat. Um, it's not that hard at all. Let's see. All right, so suite has been created. Let's uh, open a new window and file, open folder, suite two. Okay, and then let's uh, place it here and give it the same, same size. Okay. Uh, Let's go to npm scripts and then there is dev build. If you look at it, there is, that's basically suite minus ts uh, TypeScript that is dev. And then this is build. Okay, let's uh, run dev. By the way, um, if you say minus minus open, I think it it'll open a new browser. So somehow it selected port three thousand one. Uh, oh yeah, I might have something open running at port 3000. Let me make sure that nothing is running at port 3000. Um, okay, so now I, I come back here and restart. Well, sorry, this is the this is the Snowpack application, and if I go to my suite application. Let's restart. And now it's port 3000. I can uh, run this. Follow link. Open. And that opened Suite. So as you can see, uh, Suite is uh, not as snazzy, but it's actually pretty useful. Uh, one thing I just want to remind you once again is that Suite is built on top of Wheat. And Wheat, by the way, is very, very powerful. So let's get back to this. Um, 
let's make some small change to our application. One thing you should notice is that index.html is in your project root in case of suite. In case of snowpack, index.html is inside public directory. But that's not the case for suite. Um, so that's something worth noticing. Okay. All right. So. All right. Let's make a small change. SRC. Oh, by the way, there is a public directory with with usual assets in there. But um, and now since we opted for TypeScript, our index.ts is a TypeScript file, not a JS file. App.svelte has some information in it. Let's just uh, delete one line to see that it it gets loaded instantly. It, um, it says hot updated due to change in app.svelte, right? And then this thing got uh, loaded. If I undo and bring that line back, it shows up instantly. Okay, so this is good. This is hot mod module reloading. And, um, you know, any changes that you have made, it will, they will stick around. So that's great. Now, let's uh, add a few things. Like I wanted to show you how to add suite to an existing project, not a new project, but an existing project. So uh, imagine if you had um, a, oh, one more thing I wanted to mention was Svelte config.js. It has SAS false. You can, you, it, it already has Svelte pre-process. Uh, built into the template. So this is very good. So which means you can start using uh, SAS. So let me show you how to use SAS. So for example, let's say we had a div um, dot whatever, blah. So you had this div and you wanted the, the paragraph inside versus outside to be different. Okay, so if I want div dot blah and that containing paragraph to be color green. This will obviously not work. As you can see, it didn't even compile because I'm trying to use SCSS syntax. All right, so let's fix that. We said style type equal to SCSS. So I did that and now it still doesn't compile because the compiler is not ready to process. So in order to bring SAS compiler into the picture, all we have to do is we have to a yarn add for development SAS. You add that. And there's one more thing you have to do. You have to go to Svelte config and then turn SCSS to true. Remember, SAS compiler can process both SAS and SCSS. So I just enabled SCSS so that this particular um, style tag will get processed correctly. All right, now that we have that going, let's reload. And as you can see, it compiled, I think. If I, oh, and it also reloaded. Look, this is green. This paragraph is green now. So this is SAS in action. That's great. All right, so other thing I wanted to show you was how to add suite to an existing Svelte project. So let's uh, control C, kill this. I'm going, to, I'm going to CD to one level up and say, I'm going to create a Svelte project completely from scratch. So let's say MKDIR suite three, let's see. And I will, uh, let's open this directory folder file. No, let's open a new new window and I will open that directory file open folder suite three. Okay. It's a completely completely empty directory. So we will we can initiate by um, init a new project by saying yarn init minus y. So that created a package.json. And we want to add suite to, to this. So let's do that. Mm, we will say um, yarn add minus d suite. 
so that adds suite to this project minus d as in uh, we it's a dev dependency so that's why we have that and uh, we do obviously want to add Svelte as a dependency, right? So let's do that. Um, so Svelte will also be a dev dependency. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens if I don't add Svelte. Okay. All right. So let's create a scripts tag. And the scripts are going to be just like the other one. I'll, I'll, I'll simply look at the other one you know so this one this has package.json um validate well check is there but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to do dev and build okay so if i just say dev and build now it does have other dependencies like swelte hmr and swelte and swelte check sas but tslib and typescript are also dependency so let's do that let's say yarn add minus d ts lib type script all right so this way oops did i okay i did it in the wrong place my bad my bad i didn't mean to do it here i need to do this in the other project this is suite 2 i want to do this in suite oops suite 3 Okay, so there it is. Uh, did I do it correctly? <laughs> it doesn't look like I did. So, uh, no, let's just over right here. So, let's do this again. All right, so tslib and TypeScript are added. Um, I can now open a new file, and that will be src slash main dot or index.ts okay so that I'm just following the example here index.ts import app I mean we can just copy all this so this is this is if you have if you are starting something completely from scratch so we have to create app.svelte so new file app.svelte and we can just take whatever is in here um, yeah this is TypeScript. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, let's copy this and paste it here. So this is TypeScript, and um, yeah, so this is the hello world. All the other stuff is in place. We can add now. We can add. Um, well, let's not add um, the type SCSS just yet. Let's not worry about SCSS. Let's do simple CSS. Okay. All right. So save this. And now we need to have a public directory and an index.html. So let's do that. So new file, index.html. The only main thing is we have to um just like we have here in index.html we have to have script type module and source is index.ts and then you can always have your own fav icon and you have viewport and swell tab and all the standard things let's just copy this part and this is inside the body okay and now this will be sweet app let's say so this is your index.html and then the other thing uh, you can have public directory you, you don't really need to have it but you can if you wish let's run our npm script and we just run dev let's see what happens okay I got an error what's the error fail to find swelt location okay so it needs swelt so good um, oh, one thing is I never added Svelte HMR. Let's do that. So, yeah, add minus D Svelte HM 
Uh, okay. So now that we have swelled HMR, hopefully it would have pulled swelled as well. It didn't. Looks like it doesn't work like that. Okay, that's fine. Let's find, uh, let's just add swelt also. Okay, let's hit dev. Okay, yet another error. What's the issue? Um, swelt swipe TS requires a TypeScript preprocessor and one preprocess in, okay, so it, we haven't added Swelt preprocess, so we need to add um, a Swelt config, which is this requires Swelt preprocess, and then from there, module export um, preprocess like this. So we can just uh, copy this file. Let's copy this as well as TS config, which, which I can do by simply saying cp dot dot suite two slash ts config and suite two slash uh, swelt config both of them to this directory so now we have the same swelt config and ts config there right we can also say yarn minus d uh, yarn add minus d sass so, so now we have sass as well and with that sass in place we might as well just go to app.svelt and uh, bring back the rule for sass, which is div.vla and paragraph is color green. Save it. Let's dev run it. Okay, we got some success, but the this thing didn't work. The pre-process colon is expected so it didn't quite do the pre-processing I have a feeling that we have not added swelled pre-process we need to add swelled pre-process as one of the dependencies so I think that's the case yeah that is the case so let's add swelled pre-process to our project yarn add minus d swelled pre process okay let's run dev again okay we still have that problem it's okay let me sh make sure that swelled config oh it does say scss true and ts config of course is there and what else do we need package.json yeah to me it seems that this should work let's find out what it, oh uh -huh. <laughs> sorry my bad uh, I forgot to add type equal to a CSS here right that was the issue now it should if I just run the dev again restart okay no error so far let us go to this 117 3000 or wait this is 3000 yes it is 3000 if I just reload yeah I'm reloading and it's it's fine so to make sure that this is really the app that I that we are looking at I'm just gonna delete this uh, paragraph and nope that it did not load itself so if I restart okay then it worked so hot module reloading doesn't seem to be working right so I'm I'm having to re restart all of this so I know why this is related connected to the version of swelt if you see back here my swelt version is 329.7 and then so let's compare these with the versions that that we have here. Um, you will notice SAS is the same version. Swelled itself is 329.7 on the left-hand side. 
329 0 on the on right hand side HMR is 0 11 1 and this is 0 11 6 so we just have to make them the same version because yeah otherwise we we're gonna have some problems so let's make this 0 11 1 and let's make swell 329.0 and remove this um, version tag. And pre-process is okay. I, I don't think that's the issue. Suite is the same version, tslib and all the TypeScript are same. So let's, now that we have that, let's um, do yarn install again. So it got new versions of things. And now if I run dev again, Let's see if that helps with. Um, if I delete this paragraph, yes. So uh, hot module reloading is back. That's because we, uh, we, we got the very specific versions of uh, HMR. Uh, the suite uh, package is works only with specific version of Svelte app, HMR and Svelte. So we got that working. All right, so now that all that is good, uh, I just wanted to, you know, show you that what happens when we do build. And if I hit build, you will see that a new directory will appear right there. You see that dist directory. So this dist directory and it has the index uh, bundle.js okay so this is a uh, much this is pretty small actually in terms of uh, the other thing I wanted to make sure is uh, the source maps are they generated or not and the answer is yes they are generated let's let's make sure that's the case if I go to inspect and I go to sources and look for app dot svelte there it is uh, one of the, there are too many versions of app dot well. One of them is correct. The others are not. So let's see if this works. Can I put um, a breakpoint? No, apparently not. Let me make sure that I can have a breakpoint. So this obviously didn't give me a breakpoint, but if I just create a new, you know, um, let's say let i is equal to zero okay and if i go to yes if there is a let i equal to zero but it's not letting me put a breakpoint app dot svelte let's try the second one and nope this is definitely not it let's try the third one app dot svelte this one and I put a breakpoint. Now nah, I can put a breakpoint here. And if I reload, you will notice that yes, it does stop there. So yes, so this is this is this is one thing I wanted to mention was that uh, source maps are working correctly in Suite, but not in Snowpack. All right. So the other thing I wanted to show you was the proxy feature. So let's see if I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to show you. I don't know if you are familiar with this. But there is something called um, what is it JSON placeholder let's see JSON placeholder yeah this one right JSON placeholder dot tippycode.com if you make and it has various uh, endpoints like posts so this is good for us to test things out so if I come back here and say hey let's uh, delete all this and delete this as well. I'm just going to delete everything. Okay. And I say um, get posts. It's a function and it's going to get the post. Uh, let's call it an async function because, of course, it's going to do Ajax. And I say const URL equal to this. Now, if I say um, const response is equal to await and fetch this URL, and then const JSON, we have to 
the response is in JSON format, so we just say res.json. But of course, we have to await on that because that is asynchronous too. And then we return JSON. So if we create, uh, obviously, Svelte provides a wait. Then so we say get posts. And then uh, let's call them these posts, of course. What else would, would we call them? And let's do each posts as post. And we will just say div.post was created a tag. And in there, we put h2 uh, post.title. So this is post.title. Um, I'm basically getting uh, those keys from here, title and body, right? And then let's just say we have a pre-formatted because this thing can have, you know, new lines. And so let me say post dot uh, body. Okay. Save this. And okay, world is not defined, of course. So let's just fix that. We just give it a heading of posts. And as soon as I saved that, look how fast that was on the right hand side. This showed up. And if you wanted to, um, if we wanted to style this, let's just say div dot post using SCSS, of course. And we said uh, heading twos are uh, color, um, I don't know orange red right save it as soon as i did that as you can see this thing got styled now the one why, why am i showing, showing you all this the one thing i wanted to show you was the support for proxies you can remember sweet is simply built on top of wheat which means you can actually uh, open create a file called wheat.config.js and um, yeah and then you can just say um, proxy. You can create a proxy key here. Um, export, you can just say export default. This is wheat configuration. And then you just say proxy. And in the proxy, you can say, hey, I want um, this, by the way, you will find in the documentation of wheat. Um, there dev server proxy so this is where you can just say flash post is target to json placeholder change origin you do have to change origin so i'm going to just say yeah um, slash posts is going to be pointed to target is going to be the same tp code this place Um, let's see. Yes, that you can do this, and then you can say rewrite. If you don't do rewrite, you'll have some problems. But rewrite, uh, what was it called? Rewrite, not rewrite, change origin, I meant. Change origin true. Okay, so you do this. And now you can simply go to app.svelte and change your URL to simply slash posts. And of course, this will stop working as because I haven't restarted. As you can see in the network tab, it will say, uh, no, I don't have anything called posts. Okay, So I can fix that by restarting the dev server. And it picks up the new wheat.config.js. And OK, there is some kind of a, I'm not, yeah, let me just, yeah, so that worked. So if I go to network, I am making a request to slash posts, and I'm getting the 
actual response from from that tippycode.com. Okay, so this is um, this is something I wanted to show you uh, regarding as uh, Snowpack versus Sweet. At this point, um, what are the pros and cons? Let's see. Um, I would say Sweet versus or Wheat has better prod build. Oh, I didn't show you the prod build. Let me uh, run the build here. That's the build. Oh, I, I actually did, didn't I? Yeah, so the dist has assets, so it's pretty small. Uh, that's not the case with uh, with Snowpack. So Sweet and Wheat, they have good production build and they produce uh, a, a source map. And these Snowpack, sorry, this thing should say Snowpack. Snowpack on the other hand, uh, I should probably fix this. Uh, snowpack, on the other hand, <laughs> uh, doesn't have doesn't have uh, the um, a good source map and the build production builds are not that great. But this is the official direction of Svelte project, it seems. So I think at this point I'm I will stick with Sweet and Wheat, but in future I will take uh, I will obviously start using Snowpack if um, the the all these problems are resolved. So I hope you learned something. Both Snowpack and Sweet are very very nice tools. They do improve your productivity and. Um, Hope you learned something. I'll see you then in the next video.